This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, Bianca Peters. Mississippi and Louisiana are under a state of emergency ahead of Governor Gordon's arrival. The mayor of New Orleans is urging some of her residents to evacuate ahead of the storm's arrival. People along all the Gulf Coast from Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle are busy preparing. And in New Orleans, a voluntary evacuation order is in effect for people who live in neighborhoods that are not protected by levees. For everyone else, the mayor is urging them to stock up on supplies and shelter in place. She promises the city is ready. We've got the pumps and power we believe we need again uh, to be safe and protect our residents. In Mississippi, people are stocking up on supplies. Several locations have been set up with sandbags and fire rescue crews are getting ready to make swift water rescues in addition to handling other emergencies. Uh, long harbors in Mississippi coast, there are now under mandatory evacuations. And we're now getting a look at the man police say may be in custody of a missing Pinellas County toddler at the center of an Amber Alert. The FDLE believes this man, a 25 year old named Antoine, may have two year old Jordan Bellavo. Police say they may be in a white Toyota Camry. Jordan Bellavo was last seen with his mother Sunday morning in Largo near Tampa. He was wearing a blue shirt and blue gym shorts. Police say his mother was offered a ride by someone who then struck her and took Jordan. The mother says she was unconscious for four hours until she came to, and when she did, Jordan was gone. If you've seen either of them, you are asked to call police. Now to campaign 2018, Broward election workers spent part of their Labor Day recounting some votes from last week's primary. And today, two close races are finally decided. Michael Yusan is a winner of a judicial race, defeating Richard Kaplan by less than 400 votes. The election supervisor blamed a surge in late mail in ballots for the delay in declaring a final winner. And in a close Broward school board race, a machine recount determined incumbent Donna Corn received more than 50% of the vote, avoiding a runoff against Ryan Petty, whose daughter Elena died in the Stoneman Douglas shooting. Colin Kaepernick has been the face of the NFL anthem controversy. Now he's the face of Nike, but not everyone is happy about that. Nike announced yesterday that Kaepernick will star in its new campaign commemorating the 30th anniversary of the motto, quote, just do it. He shared a photo from the campaign, which says believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. On Twitter, people have started destroying their Nike gear in protests. Some people are burning the items, others cutting logos off of theirs, and some just tossing them in the trash. Of course, some people support Nike and Kaepernick, but I'm sure this move and the fact that Nike makes uniforms for all NFL teams is going to fuel the controversy for much longer. Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good morning, and we are still tracking Tropical Storm Gordon, which is moving away from South Florida. However, it is still bringing some rain through portions of North Florida and the Panhandle, and it is strengthening over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. As of the latest 8 a.m. advisory moving west-northwest, 15 miles an hour, max sustained winds of 65 miles an hour in forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane as it continues to head towards the central Gulf Coast and it will eventually become a tropical storm once it pushes inland and interacts with the land there, spreading heavy rainfall, the possibility of storm surge and also flash flooding and, and also some damaging gusty winds will be possible. Hence, hurricane warnings have been issued here for the Florida-Alabama border all the way through southern Mississippi. Tropical storm warnings stretching from the Florida panhandle through the southeast coast of Louisiana. Meantime, here in South Florida, after a washout for your Labor Day, it is a beautiful storm. Start as we look from our windjammers or camera Lauderdale by the sea. Temperatures in the 80s. It's warm and steamy out there. And we're still dealing with a couple of showers as we have that onshore breeze and some lingering moisture. Keep the umbrella close. Some rain pushing towards the southern Dade County area. Winds out of the east, 7, 12 miles an hour. And throughout the day, some passing storms. Highs in the upper 80s. A mix of sun and scattered storms through Thursday. Warmer with the 90s and also the chance for spotty storms into the weekend. Bianca. Thank you, Lisette. Well, that is the news for now. You can always find us on CBSFamily.com and tune in to CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.